Okay, so I'm going to demo how to set up a simple HTML web page. And I'll show you how also the um, CSS code to make it look more interesting. Okay. So uh, HTML is done with tags. And I like to think of the tags like pieces of bread in a sandwich. You always want to have a top piece of bread and a bottom piece of bread. Okay. Otherwise, all your toppings will fall out. And it'll be very messy. Okay, so our first tag is HTML. And we're using these uh, little uh, angle brackets. So right beside the M key, you can see if you hold shift, you can get these uh, little symbols. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit enter a few times. You don't have to make sure it's on the exact same line as me, but just give yourself some space. And then I'm going to uh, write HTML again. But this time, I have a forward slash right there. Okay, So this indicates that this is a closing tag. So everything in between here is within this HTML tag. Okay. Another thing that we can do, just to make our coding life a little bit easier, on the top of Notepad++, there's a language um, menu. So click on language, click H, and then HTML. Okay, so what this will do is actually highlight our tags. And if I click on my HTML tag, it'll show me where the closing tag is. Okay, if I didn't close that properly, okay, it won't, it won't highlight that. So it's just a nice way to, uh, you, you can check your work and things will appear in different colors. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add a head. Okay, and you see I'm going to close it right here. Okay. And if we have a head, we also need a body. Okay, just double check that this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag. Okay, so the head contains metadata. Metadata is stuff that we can't actually see on the page, but it can be very important to our web page. And the body contains all of the content that we actually see on the web page. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to add for my head is a title. As I mentioned before, this is the actual title that you see on the tab, not on the actual um, page. Oops. And I'm going to call this All About Me. OK, so within my body ta tag, I want to add some content. So I'm going to first start off by adding a headline. So that's H1. OK, you can, there are actually six different headlines. There's H1 all the way to H6. Okay, so H1 is the biggest. And I can call this uh, All About Me. Okay. Then I'm going to add an H2, so this is a slightly smaller title. And I can say like, uh, you know, a web page about my favorite things. Okay, so that's like the title and the subtitle of the page. Now, if you want to add any uh, sentences or you know any text, the paragraph tag is what we want to use. Even though it's called a paragraph, you don't actually have to write a paragraph. It could just be a couple words. Okay, but I'm just going to say something like, "Welcome to my web page." Here are a few lists of my favorite things. Okay, you can write something different if you like. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a couple 
a couple lists. So I'm going to use an H3 to put the title of the first list. And I'll say like, uh, you know, things I love. Okay, so again, these H, H1, H2, H3, these are just different sizes of uh, headlines. Okay, and actually, why don't we take a look at our page so far? What I can do is go File, Save As. Okay, so you guys can all do this regardless of how far along you are. File, Save As. I recommend um, saving it in the H drive and make a folder called HTML. Okay, you can click on this little folder thing with a, with a star to create a new folder. I've already got one called HTML. And I'm going to call this Powell HTML Basics 1. Okay, HTML Basics is just the name of the assignment. Okay, now once I've saved it, what I can actually do is find it, find where I saved it. Um, and then I can double click it and open it. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So I've opened this in Chrome. And what you can actually do is uh, have your Chrome window open on one side, have your code open on the other side, and then any changes I make here, we can just refresh the page. Okay, so I kind of like working like this sometimes. Other times I like to have the full page of code. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Some people like to see what they're doing as they go. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to add a couple lists in here, and then that will be basically it for the uh, HTML for now. Then I'll show you some, uh, how to add some style to it. So the first kind of list is an unordered list. Okay, so we use the UL tag. And this will create basically a, a list of bullet points. So this is for, if, for things that you don't really have a particular order. Right, so I can, for me, things I love, I'm going to put like my wife, my kids. You guys can put different things unless you're married with kids. I don't, I don't think you are. <laughs> um, I like, or I love music. I love teaching. Okay. I love technology. Okay. I could put these in order, but I don't want to you know, have to pick between my wife and my kids. <laughs> so an unordered list is uh, a list of bullet points. Okay. Now, we can do the exact same thing, but if we change that UL to OL, that's going to be called an ordered list. So I might want to say, like, my top five video games. Okay, so doing the same thing, I can say like, uh, you know, MechWarrior Online. Overwatch. Dota 2. I'm actually going to change it to top three because I can't think of two more. Okay, so I'm going to save this now. And I want to see how this looks. So I'll go back to my Chrome page here. And if I just hit F5, that will refresh my page. Okay, so you can see I've got both my lists. I've got my other information here. But it doesn't look very nice. It's pretty bare. All right, I want to add uh, some color and pizzazz to this. So the way we do that is called a style sheet. So what we want to do is add something in the head tag. So we already have title. I'm going to add another tag into the head. And that's called link. And what I'm going to do is link 
this HTML page to an, another page which we will create. Okay, this one is kind of long, so uh, make sure that you don't have any typos here. So after you've got your style sheet link in here, we can save that. And we actually want to create a new document. So at the top left corner of the program, we can click on new. That will make a new tab. I can set my language to C and CSS. And CSS, the way it works is basically we are picking a tag and then deciding what we, what we want to modify about it. So the first thing I can do, for instance, is I can type in body. Okay, then we put one of these curly brackets. The curly bracket is beside the P key. If you hold shift, you can, you can get the, the curly bracket. Okay, and we put a closed curly bracket down here. And then uh, within this, we can type our, what we want to do. Okay, so for the body, bo remember the body is all of the content you see on the page. I want to set my background color. Okay, now keep in mind we're using the American spelling of color. C-O-L-O-R. And I want to make this like, I don't know, light blue. Okay. Before I do anything else, let me just save this, make sure it's working. So save as. You want to save it in the same folder as that other document. And you want to call it style sheet because that's what we called it in, in our link. Okay, so S T Y L E S H E E T, just one word. Okay, so when I refresh my page, I can see that my light blue color has worked. If you want to get a custom color, you can always look up the HTML color picker. And we can pick an exact color through this thing. Maybe I want like this color here. And you just have to copy this um, thing with the pound sign or the hashtag, I guess you can call it. And you put that in in place of the color name. Okay, and then we can get a different color. All right, so either use color names or you can get the HTML color picker and get an exact color. The other thing I want to do with my body is set the font. So font family, colon, I'm going to say Verdana just for fun. And always make sure you have a semicolon at the end. And I'm also going to set some padding. Okay, padding is a margin. So right now you can see everything is hugged up right against the edge of the window. So let me just save this. If I add padding, it's going to give me a bit of a margin. Okay, so it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so it's already looking better. Now I want to um, edit H1. So I can just type in H1, put in my curly bracket, And I'm going to change the color of the title to white. Okay. I can do text align, make it centered. Oops. I can set the font size. Okay, there's a, tons of these different commands you can do. I'm not going to show you them all, but I'll give you a few of them. Okay, and I'm going to change the font of just the title to impact. So I've set the, the font here for the body, but if I specify a different font within an element that's within the body, this will override it. So the H1 will be impact, everything else will be Verdana. 
Okay, so let's save that.